Hey guys, this is Nelson. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today we're going to talk about how to create the Blade Runner 2049 cinematic images. Stay tuned and we're going to get straight into it. So before we begin, we have to start with the inspiration. And if you haven't seen the movie, don't worry. There's no spoiler alerts in this video. But if you really haven't seen this movie, shame on you. Go watch it immediately. This movie is truly a cinematic masterpiece. Not only the updated version, but the original movie as well. Watching this movie, I was truly blown away at the lighting and the storytelling but there was one scene in this movie that truly took my breath away. In this scene, the lighting was amazingly beautiful and I became obsessed to try and figure out how this image was created. Well, spoiler alert, after my investigation, I quickly realized to get this exact look, I would have to get some pretty expensive lights, which I couldn't afford. But being the lighting tinkerer that I am, I pushed on and I figured out a way to get as close to that vision as possible. So the reason you're watching this video is to figure out how I did it. So one, I'm going to start with the gear and then two, I'm going to start with how I executed it. So let's start with the gear. You will need two Godox FV150 and one Aperture 120D light. Now you can pretty much use any light. This just happens to be the lights that I use because that's what I have. You will need these filters as well to go over your lens. This is a major key to this photo shoot. Also, you will need this Vaseline to put on the lower portion of the filters. Again, major key to this photo shoot. You will need a camera, of course, and it would do honestly. I have the Canon EOS R5 and that's the camera that I chose to use. The lens I used was the 24 to 70 2.8, but you can use any lens that gives you the desired composition. Lastly, you will need a white background as this will help enhance the rich colors. Now, from an execution perspective, what I really needed was a background, a white background to be lit evenly. The subject doesn't need to be lit well. They can be almost as a silhouette. I set almost as a silhouette, which means the shadow should be filled in a bit with light. Once that is in place, all you need is to get the exposure correct for your setup. Finally, all you need is to get the subject to pose as required for the overall vision and the feel and the mood that you're trying to get out of your photo shoot. So, Gear wise, that's what I use. Execution, that's how I executed it. But really and truly guys, like I said, you can use pretty much any gear that you want. And when I say any gear, I mean like any camera, any light, as long as they give you the results that you're looking for, you can use it. The only thing that I really couldn't replace or suggest that you have to, you know, could replace with something else is possibly the lens well, the filters, the lens filters that I put over my lens. That's the only thing that really and truly I think you would need uh, to put over any lens or camera combination that you have in your arsenal. So let's get into these images. Let's get into this photo shoot to show you guys the results from this setup and I hope it's helpful.
All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was really fun making uh, these images. Now, the first set of images were obviously inspired by the movie. The second set of images that I created um, was just basically me having fun on the photo shoot. It wasn't necessarily inspired, but the theme is pretty much the same. Uh, but anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one of these images were your favorite. Just drop a comment down below. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, if it was helpful to you, give it a big thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family if you believe it was gonna be helpful to them. And guys, if you got this far in this video, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications when you receive it. Hopefully you receive it. Um, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care, bye-bye. Actually, let's just play with, um, do, um, some like innocent type poses. So now, so innocent slash sexy, right? So what you, when you were talking to her, I was noticing the, the, um, the passive look that you had, which was kind of great. So come over this way a little bit, right? And then turn your body this way, step forward just a little bit right there. Wonderful. Now bring your leg up. Yeah. Now lean forward just a little bit. There we go. Tilt your head this way. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, shit. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Hang on, hang on. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now eyes over there. Rhea, yeah, hold that. Bring your right hand up a little bit. Nope, your right hand. Right there. Yeah, exactly. One, two, three. Hold that. Gorgeous, one, gorgeous. These are awesome. All right, come and take a look.